how to play Gears of War the card game. The rule book could use some work. It starts off with a nine numbered or ordered deck list of cards to pull from three plastic wrap stacks. The problem is there's a 20 page tutorial game that serves as the rules. What if you played the tutorial two months ago and forgot things and just want a quick reference for certain mechanics? Too bad because you've got to fumble through that long tutorial. There is an index though, but I would have preferred a quick play reference, like two or three pages that outlines the game in short, in short form. form. To set up the game, you're going to grab the scenario card, starting with chapter one. This is a game that's played over the course of 12, 15 chapters. And on this scenario card, the chapter one, you're going to find the cover cards, which are the walls right now, the cover cards to set up the first scenario. You'll set them up as so, with the one player is going to choose to be the cog player, blue cogs, and then one player is going to play as the red locust for the rest of the campaign. So, you'll place the high walls closest to the, the locust player, and you'll place the low walls closest to the cog player, and they'll have their matching sides, so red side, blue side. To win the game, you're going to have to make the opponent's deck go from their initial 30 or so card deck down to zero cards. You lose cards by taking damage. As you take damage, you'll add cards to your hand from the deck, from the top of the deck. To start the game, you're going to, both players are going to draw five cards after shuffling from their 30 or so card deck. There are four types of player cards in the game. The commander card, this will start the game on the board in like the command zone. They have an initiative right there, which is the top left value that shows who goes first in this case the higher number initiative value dominique santiago will go first they also have a, a commander power that they have so you can follow that for the rest of the game units units they have a cost to play aka deploy you'll deploy units into the back row which is called the reserve aka like the pokemon bench you put them in the reserve and then that's how you deploy them to deploy a card, as we said, we have a five card hand. Now, this drone, you can have either three, four, or five cards in hand to deploy this card. Let's say you wanted to deploy the ink grenade in the deploy phase. What I would like to call the triple D phase. Deploy, discard, or draw. But you couldn't do that on the first turn right now with the ink grenade because you would need six cards or two cards in hand to deploy the ink grenade. Okay. So the units, units have this symbol on them, the skull symbol. That's a unit, they have attack and defense like most of the TCGs. Then moving along, we have tactics cards. In the top right, they have like a X, X in the crosshair symbol. These are like your sorceries or spells or trainer cards in other games. They get deployed to the back row, they happen and they instantly get discarded to the discard pile once they resolve. Then we've got reaction cards. They have an exclamation point on their top right. Reaction cards can only be played after attacks are played in response. Defender plays reactions first and then attacker can still react even if the defender doesn't play a reaction card. Those are the four types of deck cards. Three of them are in the deck and the commander is not. Okay, now going on to the phases of the game. The triple D phase, what I like to call it, they call it the deploy phase, but we're calling it the triple D phase, where you must, you have to either deploy one card, either a tactic or a unit into the back row of the reserve, or you can choose to discard a card, thereby changing up your hand number in your hand to be able to play different things, or you could either draw a card. You can choose one of those things, but you have to choose one of them. Triple D, deploy, discard or draw okay now combat or mech d phase now, you leave out of the triple d phase one then you go into the combat phase where each player's units in, res in reserve or cover the reserve is the back row the cover is the walls you can have one unit at a time on a wall so you can't have a unit on the front and the back of the wall there can only be one unit at a wall now any unit one at a time may do one of these actions. They can move to cover a wall from their reserve. 
but they can only move to the wall if there's no other enemy units at that wall okay the second thing a unit can do during combat is they can attack into cover so units in the reserve they could attack a unit that is in cover so say that i wanted the drone to attack into the elite armadillo from reserve then both units would deal damage to each other so the elite armadillo would deal five damage to the drone the drone would deal two damage to the elite armadillo and then both units deal damage to each other equal to the attack value of course these swords right here these sword guns and then if it doesn't exceed their defense their life then we go to other things when a reserve unit is damaged but not killed it becomes suppressed rotated 90 degrees they ready at the beginning of the turn if they survive but cover units cannot be suppressed they'll stay ready upright the whole time we'll get into reaction cards in a second the third thing that a unit can do during the combat phase is cover units cover units behind the walls they can direct attack the enemy player we kind of skipped the reaction phase for right now but we'll get into that in a second but cover units can choose to attack directly the enemy player now the defender say that this say that this elite armadillo was attacking for five damage to the locust player let's say that this was ready then the defender can choose a reserve unit to block there's no moving units and no reaction cards within the direct attack phase but if not blocked then defender gets two damage regardless of the attack value so even though elite armadillo is swinging five damage the defender would only take two damage and then attacking player may still play a reaction without a blocker so even if there was no blocker then the attacking player may still play a reaction okay so reaction cards after an attack as we said earlier you can always play a reaction card so let's say that this elite armadillo that that the drone was attacking the elite armadillo to try to take to try to take control of this uh this cover spot then the locust player in response to after the attack the defender gets to play a reaction first then the attacker and then this attacker could actually kill an enemy unit in reserve or color so even though they're swinging two they could actually play this card as a reaction and kill the elite armadillo making them be discarded that's how that goes to take the attack damage that direct attack damage that we were doing earlier we would take the top two cards without looking from our deck and add them to hand without looking whenever you're attacking you would also make sure to add any wall attack or defense value buffs to it so friendly units gain plus one attack and plus one defense so say that elite armadillo was right here then it will become a six six instead of a five five that's how that goes and after you're done with the combat phase then we go to the triple d phase two where you must perform another deploy discard or draw action the turn now ends and the enemy player begins their turn each chapter is played as a best two out of three matches when you go to chapter two we'll see a white bar under certain cards like right here these are subtypes of cards be aware that there's only one triple d phase deploy discard or draw on the first turn and at the end of every chapter you're going to gather your deck your player deck and then return all other cards from the battlefield like the commander and the walls and then return them to the box you'll get the next chapter's scenario card after you do the best two out of three then you'll play the next chapter with the new commander and new wall cards and that's how you play gears of war the card game got any questions ask them to me in the comments i'll be sure to get back to you but all your games like comment subscribe mess with your boy